Hello folks, welcome back to the channel, Farmer Envoy Stream here. Here we are doing a map tour of Alone in the World. Alone in the World is a mysterious place, lost in the middle of the ocean. It's up to you to build your own paradise. There you'll find Love Slope Cellar, four cell points, an old depopulated farm, an old silo, a stone house. Ten golden nuggets are hidden on the island. Will you be able to find them? So yeah, this is a map by Grimlock RRC. It is 67.85 megabytes to download. There is two required mods, the Lizard 6205 pack and the Country House, also by Grimlock RRC, so not sure why they could be just implemented into the map rather than being acquired mods, but regardless. This is one of those like island maps, like trying to think of things like Spectacle Island from FS19, combined with like No Man's Land. That's the best way to describe this map. It's an island map, but rather than just being a flat map, there are some nice undulations in that. But before we get ahead, let's talk about slot camp. So on new farm mode, which we're on, it is 677 slots. On farm manager and start from scratch, it goes down to 668. The difference is there's no shed on the main farm and no silo. But you still have all of the equipment you own. Without the equipment, I was able to get slot count down to 585. And yeah, it's not much else to sell on the map. You can't sell the cell points or anything. So yeah, turns with starting equipment. Obviously you got the Lizard 130 automatic as part of the 6205 pack. Along with that, you got the Nova 330 Ross Smash Combine Harvester, along with the affiliated Powerstream 500 header. Also, you got a Welger DK115 Trader, a Ponger Servo 25 Plow, a Nordstein HK25 and NS3030 C Drill, and lastly, a Class 900kg W900 Weight. And that's it. Not much else to start off with. So yeah, let's look at the PDA. There is nine plots to be purchasable, so nine or so ten down to two. And plot one is this one here. But yeah, you can't sell plot one individually. So we'll look at that in a sec. That's gonna be your farm net. But yeah, here near the port net, you've got your little jetty net. The barriers don't open up automatically via walk-in. However, if we say, just get a tractor. There we go, and this will open automatically. So yeah, the purpose of this little jetty export area down here is gonna be your export cell point. And your export cell point is for your grapes cotton, honey, surrey, and digesting. See, so yeah, also, let's make sure my markers are on in that. So yeah, this is going to be your export error. Also, yeah, got your golden nuggets here, so there is ten of them. Ten to be found, so there's one. And they are worth a hundred grand each, so one million in terms with total. I was able to find another two near this area here and they are by the animal trader. You go across, hop over here in the little bowl here, tub here. That's your second nugget. And the third one I was able to find is over here next to your vehicle workshop point. It is just over here. We got the transformer, turn right, buy your little covert or sewage outlet, it's just here. So yeah, that was the three collectibles I was able to be found. There is ten to be found. Can't find any on the main farm. But yeah, so this is your workshop area. And this is your vehicle spawn point and reset point. Workshop trigger is here. And that's going to be one of your cell points. So 
yeah, this is going to be your magazine cell point. And that's going to be your pretty much main cell point for everything else. So if you go to our crops, so yeah, we and all that, that's going to be your cell points. But yeah, also you have things like Lagrange, Lagrange, Grange, whatever you want to call it. And basically, that is here, and this is your bell cell point. So your grass, hay, all your bells on those items can be sold here, including cotton. And yeah, as mentioned, this is your animal trader over here. And then over here, it says it's a bio gas but it's more of a biomass heating plant so you sell your wood here along with some of your other items so if I go to our cell points so yeah biogas your wood's not popular and that wood chips and your straw so it's more of a biomass heating plant in a way pretty much like that yeah biomass heating plant like so in terms with other items there are no customized place balls apart from the farm barn which again is very similar to the base game version but regardless in terms with landscaping and textures yeah it's not really much customizable textures but yeah let's hop into our tractor here and let's head to the farm. So there we go, got the map up here on the bottom left. But yeah, that's what I said about the map. It's a combination of Spectacle Island and No Man's Land. The idea of an island paradise like Spectacle Island on FS19, but with No Man's Land aspects, like rather than just being a flat map, Yes, in my sense, you do have the hills around the edge of the map, but rarely does that ever get used. I've never really seen content creators or people using that. Apologies there, that was a real help course going past in real life. So, yeah. Here we are, this is going to be your main farm here. So, you've got your silo, got your combine, got your sheds with all your equipment and other crap bits and a bit of junk in it. And uh, yeah, go to the back of here. You will have your stone house, so. So yeah, go to farmhouse. Yeah, that is the country house. As part of the required mods. Seat trigger. And your wardrobe. But yeah, this is a cracking map, and. It's one of those, you could call it a BYF, BYOF, or BYOM. Build your own farm, build your own map. Because, yeah, as you see, like, via the PDA, there is sections that where it is very dense in forestry. And, yeah, just bits as well that are quite open and fast. Also, it's very smooth, it's got that sort of nice undulating vibe to it. As our tractor is screaming like heck. But yeah, it's got nice rolling hills and that. It's absolute beautiful. So, definitely, again, if you've got a creative mindset, you can transform this map into pretty much anything you want, really. Yeah, it's cheap up to require mods, especially they're by the same mod or not, and the map maker himself, but. Again, that, <laughs> again, that's a bit of a voice break there, yeah, that's just a little niggle, I think it was worth mentioning, but apart from that little niggle, I've got really nothing else to complain about the map. And over here, I think if I was to play on this map, this is where I would start off with like, a fast amount of open land. Yep, yeah, there's some trees in that, but get like the devour and that. Either power to get the wood chips or trees be gone in that. Cut these trees out and create your own farming act here. But yeah, also, I forgot to mention, fill prices. Overall, not too bad. I think overall, to buy all 
underlying plots, including plot to start off with, on new farm mode, you need 1.414 mil. So, yeah, 1.4 mil. Not too bad, not too shabby. But yeah, just get this drone out. Let's go flying around. Yeah, I suppose there's a lot of PC flying around in that, but just yet, yeah, overall, this map is absolute lush. That sort of island aspect. Yep, I'd be nice to see Spectacle Island return to FS22. But yeah, Aiden Gym has been very quiet on the mod scene. That's rarely seen things like Aiden Gym that models that from FS19. Don't really hear much of them nowadays, not sure why. But yeah, apart from that, this is a beautiful map to play. And the map, it's if it's your style, like build your own map and that build your own farm like Luma Sands, I do highly recommend this map. But anyway, so short map tour here, and as always, hope you find this helpful and informative in some way, shape, or form. If so, smash that button, feel free to comment down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not, subscribe to the please consider. But for you to do, Hope you're nice day, but for now, this will be for our Envoy stream, and I'll see you all very soon.